Courtney, and you may be wondering, hey Courtney, what the heck you wearing? And that's a good question. But if you guys are new to my channel or you just didn't know, I'm actually a Starbucks barista at a Target Starbucks. So I thought it would be appropriate to wear this. I figured with the fact that the pumpkin spice latte officially comes out this week, I would make a do-it-yourself one. This way you can save money and also you can get a healthier version of it because the one that we make has 50 grams of sugar alone in the grande. I don't even wanna know how many are in the venti and that also does not include whipped cream. Now, I'm not saying don't get it, splurge and get it. I mean, it is good, it's only out during one time of the year. But just be aware of how much sugar is in there because I don't think a lot of people know and I was kind of disturbed by that. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to more videos like these. I will have more fall videos coming as well as do it yourself Starbucks holiday drinks coming up soon. We're gonna try and have some Halloween videos, all types of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For this you're going to need one fourth cup of canned pumpkin, two teaspoons of pumpkin spice, some ground cinnamon or cinnamon sticks, two cups of granulated sugar, one cup of milk, and normally we use 2% at Starbucks, but you can use non-fat, whole milk, any type of milk, and some whipped cream. You're going to start by taking two cups of water and then adding the sugar as well, and basically letting that simmer and stir it until the sugar is completely dissolved and you just can't see it anymore. Once that's done, you're going to add the pumpkin spice as well as the pumpkin and the ground sugar, all of that to the pot and then you're going to mix that until it becomes like a liquid form because right now it looks like stew and chunky and gross but I promise you if you keep stirring it and letting it simmer for a while, it will get smooth just like this and it will look appetizing and smell really good. Then you're going to pour that into a container of your choice or a mason jar, anything, and you're gonna put that in the fridge to let it cool down. Then you're gonna take the milk, put it in a microwavable safe dish and microwave it for about a minute and a half. And then you can put that in a blender so you can get it frothy because we steam our milk at Starbucks. So this is an easy way to do that at home. Once you let that mixture of the syrup cool, you can pour some of it on the bottom, make it about an eighth to a seventh of the cup, and then you're going to pour some coffee in there. I just use the smallest setting on the Keurig, but for a tall, we normally pull one shot, and then for the grande and the venti, we pull two, so however much coffee you want for that. Then you're going to pour milk to the top, and add whipped cream to top it off because Starbucks whipped cream is so good, even if it's so bad for you. And then finally, you're gonna put the pumpkin spice on top to add that flavor, and it just looks cool too. And that is your completed drink. I hope you guys really liked this. Go get that pumpkin spice latte if you're too lazy to make it at home, but this is really fun to make. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. A final song, the last